Brandon, thank you so much for coming out to talk with us about these cars. We just had a chance to experience the CT4 V Blackwing and the CT5 V Blackwing, and uh, they're amazing cars. First, Blackwing represents the pinnacle of Cadillac performance, technology, and craftsmanship. And with these particular cars, we've made them distinctly American vision of performance luxury. Incredible power and luxurious craftsmanship. Tell me a little bit about the racing side, like how that's influenced the streetcar. Well, we're equally passionate you know, about racing and performance, and you know, we demonstrate that over the of course of a long history, starting in 1949, uh, was when Cadillac started racing with uh, the revolutionary overhead valve V8 engines. And we've taken that over the course of years and, and won championships in Pirelli World Challenge, in IMSA uh, WeatherTech Endurance Championships, and then uh, the Michelin Endurance Cup Championships. And all of that experience, along with our technical prowess, we've combined into the cars you've driven and seen with the CT4 V Blackwing and CT5 V Blackwing. And that endurance element uh, comes in with how we test the vehicles. And we test them straight in 24-hour test and 12-hour test on the track. And we also do drag strip testing with the vehicles. Both of the cars, the CT5 and the CT4 Blackwings, are rear-wheel drive. And they make quite a bit of power for it being rear-wheel drive and manual. Tell me a little bit about the power plant. So the CT5V Blackwing has a 6.2 liter supercharged uh, V8 engine, and the CT4V Blackwing has a 3.6 liter twin turbocharged engine. The CT5V makes 668 horsepower and 659 pound-feet of torque. That is the most powerful Cadillac ever, which is something we're really, really proud of. It delivers zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds in over a 200 mile an hour top speed. And the CT4V Blackwing is 472 horsepower and 445 foot pounds of torque. And that's zero to 60, 3.8 seconds. Okay, so that's a lot of power. Uh, and uh, I feel like only with technology, you're able to have this car that's rear wheel drive and with that much power. I mean, this thing is just uh, a rocket ship. First thing that I noticed is that it's available in a manual transmission. These are very serious driver's cars. And to be driver's cars, first and foremost, you need to row your own gears. So standard six-speed transmissions in both vehicles. We have active rev matching, and we have uh, no lift shift algorithms in the vehicles so that when you do shift your manual, you're not losing any time in between the shifts with uh, boost loss. MR 4.0, which was launched on the CT5V and CT4V, is also included in the Blackwing vehicles. It's the next generation of MR and provides more precise wheel control with better isolation. You guys put a lot of thought into these wheels for the Blackwing series of cars. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Both vehicles have a forged aluminum alloy wheel standard available in two different uh, finishes, a dark and a bright. The tires are the latest technology from Michelin, their Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's that are specifically designed and tuned for the V Black Wings. And there's actually some R compound in the tread uh, for these tires. Well, the wheels are designed also to fit the brakes, right? Because those brakes are huge. For example, the carbon ceramic brakes on the CT5, I think that caliper is bigger than my leg. Uh, and so you have to have that size wheel to fit those brakes. Absolutely, we have the largest brakes ever in production on a Cadillac on the CT5V Blackwing, 398 millimeters. And as you mentioned, we have an iron version and we now have a uh, carbon ceramic version. Carbon ceramics are a 53 pound reduction, which provides better performance and incredible stopping power. And they stop as well as they look. So incredible performance on that brake system. Josh, thank you so much for coming out to talk with us about uh, the design inspiration with the CT4V Blackwing and the CT5V Blackwing cars. I hear that 
they take a lot of inspiration from the race cars. As we started the project, one of the important things was that we really took from the race teams and took all that learning, all that heritage we've had from racing in the past and incorporated into the cars. And we struck that fine balance of making sure it always added to the performance of the car, but it really stood out in the design and really stood for what V-Series means. It was so interesting to see what somebody could essentially drive to the office, to the grocery store. It's like this usable daily driver car on the racetrack winning and uh, it just looks right. That's kind of one of the things I really like about these cars. They're relatable and they're for the everyday enthusiast. I mean, you can go from the very uh, daily driver package when you set up uh, from your you know, your front splitter to your spoiler configuration to your full track blown car with all the carbon elements uh, from front to rear of the vehicle. And that's really based on what the driver wants to do with this vehicle. That's a really interesting point though you brought up in terms of like the carbon and uh, really nice materials that you used for some of the trim. That's something that's traditionally reserved for the tuners, you know, the aftermarket. It's like, hey, this car is cool, but let's add these little accents to make it just that much more special. Plus, it's lightweight and it's really stiff. That's the attention to detail that, you know, as a V-Series vehicle, it demands that. And it's that attention to detail that we try to sprinkle throughout the car and making sure that everything, again, served its purpose, uh, but was beautiful and striking. You guys did hide a lot of things that tell the customer or tell enthusiasts that this is special. One of the great things that we enjoy as designers is hiding all these little Easter eggs around the car. I don't want to give them all away because they're Easter eggs. It's kind of uh, a surprise thing for the customer to go and discover. But you know, the rear differential has got a little V-Series logo on it. You go into the underbody, we have this thing called the Racing Mondrian pattern and we kind of sprinkle that throughout the underbody, through the mid-body panels and the underwing. In the engine bay, you'll see the racing pattern as well. John, thank you so much for coming out to talk to us about the interior. Can you tell us a little bit about the design philosophy behind them? Mm -hmm. We really want to take kind of our you know, history with racing and really want to inspire the, that to be the inspiration for the interior. Um, you see that in the different materials, uh, the way that they're layered, and a lot of precision, especially in the quilted pattern, and I love the piping. And it's really race inspired. So you see a lot of carbon fiber, you see the suede microfiber, and you see the high quality leather in the interiors, uh, whether that's in the shifter, the steering wheel, and also the seats themselves. The first thing that I noticed when I actually got in the car was the shifter and shift knob. You know, first of all, it's manual transmission. Save the manuals, not many of them left. This one is special. I noticed right away it's 3D printed. Tell me why is it 3D printed? We really want to take this as an opportunity um, to celebrate that. Um, and as you can see in the, in the center console, we really open up that space so that when you are shifting through gears, you have that space. The icing on the cake is that 3D printed. And we want to take that as an opportunity to really show the new technology and manufacturing. And there's these little details of the Mulgeon pattern that you're seeing in there as well. So again, it's a celebration. The heads up display is awesome. It feels like you're flying like a fighter jet. Right when you start it, everything is special about catering to give the driver information, just things like that kind of really take it over the top. Yeah, and you know, with the 12-inch reconfigurable cluster, we again, we want to give that, um, you know, that experience to our customers. When you do hit the V mode, you've got your three settings or three experiences, if you will, track, sport, and touring. And again, when you have the HUD, minimalizing everything too as well. You know, having your RPMs, having your shift um, lights, and just, again, getting that experience from the track into the customer um, experience as well. Brandon, we've talked about the performance, a lot of the engineering behind these cars. Now, tell me how much they cost. We're very excited to announce the CT4V Blackwing will start at 59,990 and the CT5V Blackwing will start at 84,990. We're going to have 250 of each vehicle set aside and you'll be able to reserve your own through Cadillac.com starting at 7.30 Eastern time tonight. 
The vehicles will then be available in dealerships later this summer. And we can't talk about racing vehicles without a little bit of competition. Ready? Ready? Go!